So I think we live in very challenging and terrifying and also exciting times. Global warming is uh, presenting itself as a real threat and we don't know how it's going to play out, but it's something we have to think about. Renewable sources of energy are becoming affordable and they're becoming good enough that the average person can buy in. Farms are a great place for solar and wind to take off. We have lots of space and we have high energy needs. And farmers also like to be independent. So if we can produce something, we would much rather produce it ourselves than have to buy it from someone. In April of 2018, we partnered up with Halliburton Solar and Wind. And we put in a, a 10 kilowatt array, which powers our irrigation, our vegetable cooling, heating of the house, and we're producing almost enough energy to supply all the farm's needs and also to power our electric tractor. When we began the farm, uh, I was using mostly hand tools, and that's partly why it's called Wheelbarrow Farm. And we still use a lot of hand tools, but at about year five, when we were scaling up to about four acres, I realized it was time to invest in a tractor. And I'm really glad I did because it can make work 10 to 20 times easier and quicker and, and easier on the body. So if I'm gonna be in this game several decades, uh, I realized a tractor was necessary to, to grow the vegetables. So we purchased a 30 horsepower diesel tractor and it's small enough and compact that we can get in some of the small areas and use it for different vegetable applications. But it does have, in my mind, one downside and that's the reliance on fossil fuels. We use about 800 liters of diesel a year and for starters there's the cost, uh, but on top of that uh, it's adding CO2 to the atmosphere, which we would like to avoid as much as possible. But then there's also the diesel exhaust that as the driver of the tractor I'm huffing in. It's also a very loud machine, so I wear headphones, but even after several hours uh, it starts to irritate my ears just having the headphones on. It was about September of 2017 and I had put in a long day on the, the tractor and I just started thinking about the pace of technological change and how electric vehicles are already here, the number of them are increasing every year, and that it might be about time that someone had uh, invented an electric tractor. That night I went online and did some research and uh, very quickly got in touch with Steve Hackeroth of Selectrack, which is a new company that is making electric tractors out in California. In November, I went to meet Steve and to meet the company and to look at the prototypes that they were building. And uh, we really hit it off. We share a lot of uh, common goals. I returned in January of 2018 to help them put together a prototype of the tractor. They had me in the shop cutting, welding, spray painting, and I got to learn a lot about what makes it different from a diesel tractor. We were lucky enough to receive some small grants and some loans from our customers in order to purchase one of the prototypes. In August of 2018, we shipped it up from California and it's been working on the farm for the last month. There are several differences between an internal combustion engine and an electric motor. For starters, the efficiency of an electric motor is very high. The motor in the select track is rated at 95% efficiency, which means 95% of the energy in the batteries is turned into work and 5% of the energy in the batteries is wasted as heat. In an internal combustion engine, around 65% of the energy in diesel is wasted immediately as heat and friction, and you only get about 35% of the energy in diesel being turned into useful work. It's crazy. <laughs> the runtime using the average implements that we use here is six hours. And for me, a six hour day on the tractor is just about enough. I'm ready to not be on a tractor after six hours. One thing I noticed right away was how quiet it is. And it's just wonderful to be able to use a tractor all day and there be no infield CO2 exhaust and no diesel exhaust to breathe in. In the year 2018, solar by now has become mainstream. The technology has developed to a point where it's affordable, it's reliable, and if you have the space and a bit of startup funds, it makes sense to buy in now. The electric tractor is a new technology, which has certain risks associated with it, but risks that we were willing to take on because we believe in this technology and we believe that there's a future in this technology. We don't see ourselves so much as consumers, but as part of an industry. 
So we're helping, hopefully, to move this industry forward so that in the future it is as mainstream as solar technology. Every year we aim to make improvements on the season from the previous year. So sometimes that means putting in solar, sometimes that means growing a crop a little bit better, tweaking our system. We try as much as possible to eliminate waste and we try to grow the highest quality vegetables you can and to deliver them within a day of harvest.